Tonight, gun violence isn't the only problem threatening our kids. Deadly drugs are too. And just a few hours ago, our Katie Lusso learned a student from Wakefield High School in Arlington died from an apparent overdose. And Katie, what else are we learning about this tragedy? Well, this is the second Wakefield High School student who has died from an apparent overdose just this year. The latest is a freshman. He just turned 16 last month. Tonight, his mother spoke to me in hopes that it'll prevent another family from going through the unthinkable pain she's been dealing with. Happy, cheerful. That's the way Luz Rodriguez says she wants her son Jorge remembered. She spoke to WUSA 9 alongside community advocate Janet Valenzuela. She says last Thursday night she came home from work, but her son was nowhere to be found. She called him over and over, even went out looking for him. Hours later, she got a call from police. They told her they needed to speak with her in person, and once with her, showed her a picture of a body they'd found. I lowered my eyes and I, I, I don't want to see the picture, but I, I feel that it was my son. And the police says, you need to see the picture. But when I saw my son's picture, and it was at that moment, my heart sank and I feel heartbroken. She says they told her he had overdosed. Fentanilo. Possibly from fentanyl. She says they're still waiting on the autopsy, but are in shock. Say his name. In February, 14-year-old Sergio Flores died after overdosing inside a Wakefield High School bathroom. The community has demanded change, and Arlington Public School says Narcan is now readily available in all schools. Staff are trained how to use it. They're also in the process of hiring an eighth substance abuse counselor. We've expanded our prevention interventions into elementary schools. Jennifer Sexton is one of the counselors. We're offering training, resources, support. As for Rodriguez, Nunca pensé que un niño como él. she never thought she'd have to say goodbye to her son so soon and hopes her speaking up will prevent another family from having to go through this. We don't know what happened. What we know is what we need to stop this. And tonight, his mother told me she never thought she'd be burying her son, and the expenses that come with all of this have been understandably overwhelming. They've started a GoFundMe page, and we have that linked on WUSA9.com. Leslie? To think of how she had to see the, the face of her lifeless mm -hmm. son and to, to have to grapple with all of that, it is just so very much. Katie, thank you for that update.